Good morning, YouTube. I did not want to revisit this topic this soon, but this just happened about an hour ago. So I want to explain to you what happened. I was building the rails for these two beautiful doors back here and cutting them to final length. Cutting the off cut off, it's inch and Oops. About an inch and three eighths, so it's not a small off cut, fairly good size, off of this rail. Now, <clears throat> let me show you what happened. So now that was caught on camera and that thing went off like a bouncing bay. I found this piece. Check this out. Thirteen feet away from my miter saw and all these little pieces they were all over my shop they were over there they were over here they were over here hell there might still be pieces I can't find this was the off cut not only did the dust collector explode but the off cut exploded too in the last video I did about this particular subject I thought this might be bad because my vacuums were bad. I explained that my little vacuum that I normally use on my miter saw is probably the cheapest vacuum you can buy at Blows. So I hooked my rigid up to it and my rigid got pretty good suction, but it still wasn't pulling. So I thought, all right, you know, I'm going to upgrade vacuums anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it on. But there was still the inconvenience of having to have my fence extended, the hose popping off, all that, that you can still see in the last video. If you haven't seen it, I'll leave a link up here. You can check it out. But since this happened, well, I'm not going to get a chance to do any of that because it's in about 30 pieces. And even though I was probably going to take it off anyways, now I have no choice. Because, well, look at it. And the construction of this has got a lot of voids in it. I am an injection molding technician. And this, I understand 3D printing is still very new. And... This is not, this is not good plastic. The plastic may be good, don't get me wrong, but this is not how plastic parts should be made. Plastic parts should be made in a mold with lots of hold pressure and all of these voids should most certainly be filled. There should not be voids in plastic like plastic parts like this should, but it, they shouldn't have voids. And to see it really aggravates me 
coming from a profession that makes plastic day in and day out. This is not a good product, not by a long shot. I mean, the voids, the voids are awful. Had this been a solid piece of ABS plastic, this would not have happened. I guarantee it. it it's crap. $50 down the freaking drain. So not only did it not function well, but this, this is unacceptable. Be very cautious when purchasing YouTuber products. I know I'm on YouTube. You're watching me right now. But I have no intention of selling or trying to sell anything to my viewers. I am not a tool maker. Well, I do have tool making skills. But I do not plan on selling anything that I buy or make. Not as far as tools go. This, I'm sorry guys. And Travis at Shop Nation, do better. This, this is not cool. Alright guys, that's all I got today. See you later. Bye.